Well, hello. Now, I finally managed to get out and do a bit of bass fishing today. I've just walked to a mark, it's a fairly long trek across a very large reef, and uh, I'm about to fish over the next hour. Now, I've got an hour maximum here because I need to be somewhere else um, for low water to go and collect some bait. Now, we've, uh, we've got a big tide at the moment, so the tide's going to be rushing through here. There's really not a lot of swell or anything like that. It's fairly flat today, to be honest. Um, so not the best conditions, but still pretty good. A few clouds in the sky, pretty overcast at the moment. And like I said, with that tide running through, I'd still be fairly confident there'll be some bass here. Now I'm going to start off with a shallow diving lure, the uh, IMA Suzuki 140. And then I may chop and change, I'll see how I get on. But I don't have long here whatsoever. Like I said, I need to be somewhere else. Just happy to be back out with a lure rod again. Um, I literally went twice in the month of February. Both times were really short sessions, only half an hour each time. The weather was horrendous. They both resulted in blanks. Um, and then I've been focusing my attention on, on other things. So hopefully we can hook into a bass today. Um, I'm gonna get over, over there on those rocks now and throw a lure out and see what we can find. So I'm just going to start by doing a relatively slow to medium retrieve, just kind of in a straight line to start with. There's a lot of rocks that stick out here, so uh, you can get snagged, snagged up fairly easy. It's also a lot of tide as well. Tide rips from right to left. Just try and throw the lure out to my right a little bit. And I know as I'm retrieving it, it's gonna drift in the tide as well. little bit difficult to cast across that crosswind getting a lot of slack in the line at first which you've got to wind in real quick but I have had a knock but it felt like a wrasse really just creeping up out the rocks to hit the lure it didn't feel like a bass hit Well, here we go, here's a fish. Didn't manage to get that other camera on. Oh, that's a nice bass as well. Come on, stay on there. Oh. Yes. What a cracker that is. That's a lovely bass. Check that out, that's a beauty that. That's a good three pound, just over three. Lovely fat bass, amazing colors on it. Pure white fins there, blues in it, incredible fish. 
well happy with that. Well, I had a couple of hits, but uh, I was pretty sure they were rats. That time I cast the lure out a bit further to the left. And bang, once this one calms down a bit. Look at that beauty. That is a lovely bass, that. I'd give that three and a half pound. Lovely chunky winter bass. You really can't complain with that. Amazing. Really, really happy about that. That's a beautiful fish. Now I'm not gonna waste any time. Just gonna get it back in the water and carry on fishing. Ah, well I'm happy about that. I've only been here about 10 minutes. I've had maybe, I don't know, 10 or so casts. So I'm really happy about that. Now the thing with this spot is, when that bass first hit, uh, hit me, it didn't feel like, a, I mean, it's only three and a half, three and a half pound max, but uh, it felt like a smaller fish. But when they start to go in the tide as well, you really got to get them up to the surface as fast as you can, because there's so many ledges and rocks here. If they just take a dive, it's just going to cut through the line and then the fish is gone. So I was really trying to just wind up, wind up, pull the rod up, get it, keep it high and uh, keep it as close to the surface as possible. But what a great start. Hopefully there's a couple more about, uh, a couple more about around. Um, I've still got a bit of time left, so uh, yeah, let's see if we can find another one. And that was the lure it was taken on. This lure is, many bass anglers know, you really you probably can't beat it, the IMA Suzuki, especially the Bora Mullet as well. It's a cracking lure. Well, I've just watched a seal glide in the tide over that reef there. I wondered what the hell that was at first. But you could just see its head popping up. And it was just drifting in the tide along there. So if the seal's on the hunt, must mean there's some fish around here. Oh, yep, yeah. there we go. I'm in again. This one's a lot smaller. This is only a tiny one, this one. Come on then, come here. There we go. Bass number two, just a little piddler. Let's get over here, get him unhooked. Well, he's certainly an angry one, this one. Only small, just a little piddler, but still a bass. Now, I've just seen that seal drift past. So there's got to be a few fish here. Maybe the little hits I was getting earlier were little bass and uh, not rats. But anyway, let's keep trying. Now you might be able to tell on camera but all of this here which I'm stood on now was covered literally 10 minutes ago so it shows you how fast the tide drops now, I've not got too much longer because I actually need to be somewhere else but there's two reefs in front of me here and now they're starting to get uncovered just gonna watch the lure on it.
Oh. Bass number three. Bass number three. Nice chunky two pounder that. Absolutely smashed that there. So let's get it out as soon as possible. Get it back in the water. Oh, and there we have it. Bass number three. Another beauty. Good condition bass these getting back in the water as you can see I've had to take my hat off my neck scarf is bloody boiling now but what a cracking start to the day back in business on the bass beautiful Great start to the day this is turning out to be. Now, like I said at the start of the video, we've got big, uh, well, fairly big tides at the moment, spring tides. And uh, I've been doing a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but a fair bit of bait fishing lately. But I've completely run out of bait, so I wanted to go and dig some bait afterwards. And to do that, I need to get out of here in the next half an hour at maximum. So uh, I'm not gonna stay too much longer. I'm gonna give it a few more casts. It's a long walk back to the shore. Um, so yeah, I may continue this, this video in the next day or two when I can get out again. But it's been great so far, but I'm gonna give it a few more casts and see if we can find any more fish. seal well I found the seal again just at the end of my rod tip there drifting through he's looking right here he's just going through that channel now Well, that's going to bring an end to my, uh, my brief little session. Um, I'd be really confident of there being more fish here and you could fish it um, on, down to slack water. It's actually a particular rock which on these ties you can access and it means you can fish straight through a channel which has um, been pretty success successful in the past for me. But I need to go. If I don't go now, um, I'm not going to make the tide. So I'm going to cut it short there. But anyway, what a great start to the morning. What a great little session, three bass, can't complain. Um, nice three and a half pounder, two pounder, and a little little baby one as well. All on the IMA Suzuki. Um, yeah, brilliant lure this. I use this lure a lot throughout winter. I mean, I use it all year round, but especially throughout winter, I use it a lot. Um, and it's been catching um, the bass that I've had, I say recently, um, at least this year anyway, and this winter. So I'm going to leave it at that and um, I may go out tomorrow and link the video to, to that session as well depending on how it goes. Um, so yeah, I'll see you on the next one.